Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Virgo. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Virgo, I'm doing a reading with a stack of blended decks. You'll see a mix of several decks in your spread today. So we've got the fishbowl in the split. And messenger of air. Okay, so that makes sense. So this fishbowl is somebody else's energy and you are wanting to bring a message to them. I want to say that the fishbowl is kind of this, it's a bit of a spotlight energy. It's like somebody is maybe suddenly in the spotlight or being highlighted in some way. And because of that, perhaps you're wanting to communicate something to them. Maybe you're just wanting to congratulate them. <clears throat> maybe the spotlight has alerted you to their presence like you didn't know you didn't know of them before they were being highlighted in some way so um it's it's kind of inspiring you to want to connect with them whatever it is that they've got going on which I want to say, especially because of, of it being the fishbowl, is talking about that there's something, the moon underneath that, there's something about them, perhaps, that you're perceiving that is, like, really obscured or really, um, there's something really unconventional about them or there's something about them that you understand by what it is that they are displaying. It's like it, it means something to you that others might not pick up on. It's kind of the idea of having the same like symbolic language, right? So if they're using certain phrases or certain words, or if they're, um, it's the way that they're dressing could be signaling something to you, something like that, right? It's like there's something unique about them that a spotlight is being, is highlighting that for you. Well, it's actually, I'm just noticing that I'm blue is here on the first card on the table here. And it could be that what I'm talking about It's like, you know immediately that they are like a kindred spirit. <clears throat> okay, let's pull an overall energy from the musical Alchemy of Astrology. I don't know why my throat is suddenly going off. Um, overall energy for Virgo. <laughs> Could be that you're, you're hesitant to deliver this message. Or maybe even getting choked up about it, right? There could be a lot of emotion around it. <clears throat> Okay, overall energy for Virgo. Um, make, make. I'm sure I'm probably not saying that properly. Environmental wisdom. Cosmic egg hunting. Oh, that brings me back. That brings me back to some readings from years ago. The cosmic egg. Kindred spirit messenger. See? That's exactly what I was just saying. Okay, look. Right here, kindred spirit messenger, environmental wisdom. Seeing nature spirits, Akashic remembrances. Returning unbroken dreams to the world. Okay, so basically it's just confirming what I was saying. And it's, it's Taurus and Sagittarius. Um, confirming what I was saying about the fact that there's something about this one or maybe what it is that's going on with them at this moment that is um, inspiring you to, del to deliver a message of kindred, kindred spiritedness. You see something in them that is valuable to you because it's in resonance with you. That's not how I was seeing this card when it first came out though, because it came out with the magician. For some reason, I was seeing it as almost, you know, people who kind of paint their faces to go to sporting events and they'll, they'll do like half their face in one color, half face in the other color to represent the team colors and show support and show spirit, right? It's similar. In fact, maybe I'm wondering if your message is unspoken in the fact that um, you know that just as I was describing this one, there's something about the way they carry themselves or what it is that they're doing that is communicating to you or signaling to you that there's um, there's a connection there or there's a potential connection there. Uh, so it could be something like that. It's almost as if you are putting yourself in front of them, maybe even almost being like an audience member. I mean, there is the star card coming out in a bit. So it could be that they are um, some sort of a public figure for example, 
I mean, it doesn't have to be like big, a, a big public figure, a very well-known public figure. It could just be somebody in your community, somebody, somebody in your life that is being highlighted at the moment and could be for whatever reason up on a stage or presenting in some way with the magician. It's like, they've got something that is valuable. They're doing something valuable and it's being highlighted and it's making you want to kind of show up in support, but not just show up in support, but show up wearing the colors or signaling the fact that there is that you're identifying a kindredness between you. Do you see what I mean? With the co-creative spirit and the three of earth coming up next, like this really strong um, desire to connect with them, maybe in order to work together, that you want to take what it is that they're displaying or their magician abilities. It's like they have an ability to uh, manifest, they have an ability to get things, ha to make things happen or to really kind of get big results in some area is the reason maybe that they're being highlighted is because their efficiency has increased or their productivity has increased or they it has become known how useful their abilities are or how useful their services are. And it's triggering within you, like I said, this kindredness and this really strong desire. It's interesting because the co-creative heart card here, the fine print actually says, look for clear signs. And that seems to be what we're talking about here is the fact that it's like they've done something that signals to you. It's like a, it's confirming a sign that you've been looking for. You've been waiting for a signal of some sort or waiting for something to occur that will spark you in this way. It's got the ace of fire and the baby. I'm a star coming out underneath all of this. It's like when you witness them doing their magic, whatever that is, when you witness them doing their thing, it seems to be that they're actually offering up something, right? That they're, it's like you're um, connecting with them through their work or you're witnessing them through their work or some sort of a talent, especially with the star card underneath that they could be exceptionally talented in some regard. Maybe exceptionally talented like in this in the spiritual energetic realm in the sense of um, you know maybe being a healer something like that. Having especially with the moon card underneath the fishbowl it's like whatever it is that they're doing is it's got that kind of magical mystical mysterious aspect to them which I feel like is exactly what is pulling on your heartstrings in a sense. It's like, it's exactly the, the rare field of uh, specialty that you are most intrigued by. It's very rare to come across somebody who has that same kind of rare specialty or rare interest. It, it is intriguing that if it's such a rare if it's such a rare skill or rare ability or a rare area of inquiry, for example, that it's suddenly being highlighted. Actually, it's interesting, actually, what I'm getting about that is that they're not being highlighted for that specific thing. It's almost as if whatever it is that they're doing, whatever it is that's getting them attention or is, uh, you know, bringing them accolades of some sort or maybe some sort of promotion it's not their it's not their magic trick necessarily it's not the fact that they're a magician that's the thing that's obscured that only you're able to perceive perhaps it's like people are taking it for granted maybe that they're doing what it is that they're doing and nobody's considering how it is that they're doing it it's something like that or it's like there's there it's not completely blatantly obvious whatever it is that they've going on whoever it is that like whatever role they're fulfilling there's a subtler underlying significance to it for you specifically because of this kindred nature, right? The fact that there's an, uh, there seems to be an alignment there. The fact that you've been looking for signs, for example, maybe not even specifically looking, but once you perceive it, you read it as a sign, you read it as an indicator. Um, because you do have with the longing heart coming up, the longing heart and the calling, it's talking to me about the fact that whether or not you could really specify or identify it, that there is this longing within you either to have a calling or it's like you have a calling, you've, you've 
you're feeling a pull in some regard, but you're not completely sure how to pursue it or what exactly to do with it. It's been this kind of like dangling energy that isn't um, either practical or fully understood by you. It's almost as if you've been receiving bits and pieces of it, perhaps maybe coming in much more strongly recently with the, with the longing heart value what you have and more will appear. So that's fascinating. It's almost as if you've been kind of sinking into this idea of calling and purpose or, you know, starting to get more of a, a thread pull on that. And the more you're pulling on that thread, the more this one is coming into view for you, or it's like, that's maybe the reason why you've crossed paths. So witnessing them or becoming aware of them in their kind of like being highlighted, in their being highlighted, in their success, it's like they're suddenly going through a really successful phase. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're, they're on public display necessarily, but for whatever reason, their most recent success is what's drawing them into your awareness or what has, has um, allowed them to cross your path, right? Because something about them is, you know, more sparkly than ever. And it's like the, once you see them, it's pulling on all of this. It's like you have this deep, deep longing that has maybe been kind of like long unfulfilled that it's almost as if you've received a calling or you have some sense of what your calling or your purpose is. You have a direction, but there's something missing about it. And it seems to be this, this cooperative, co-creative collaborator component, right? I'm just saying, I'm not sure what the, I'm not really pulling out what the message is here, but this character here is connected to the fox somehow. It's almost as if they're the same, they're the same, they're the same one, the same energy. It's like, it's almost as if you're the fox somehow, which could be almost like, is there a possibility that you could be perceived by this one as almost like a trickster? or untrustworthy, maybe. It's almost like there's something there about that. There's something there about the possibility of being perceived as untrustworthy, perhaps. Or maybe just misunderstood. There's a, there's a fear, perhaps, of being misunderstood because you may be identified as a fox. I don't know exactly what that means, which could be like just being deviant or being a troublemaker or kind of like sticking your nose in somewhere where it doesn't belong. Perhaps it's like, okay, so maybe that applies to some of you. I'm just, I was just being drawn into that for a moment. I mean, that could be the reason why with this ace of fire here that there seems to be kind of um, a real need to uh, be really brave or courageous in order to take this journey. It's like, it's like building up the gumption in order to make this journey, in order to deliver this message because of this, because of this star card, baby, I'm a star. It's like, this is what you're approaching, right? It's almost like in your mind, maybe you've built it up as being larger than life, right? It's like, or you're perceiving, you're perhaps perceiving yourself. It's interesting because this card is coming up and it was talking in another reading recently about feeling like um, not quite up to snuff or not quite to their level. It's like, it's like there's a reaching here because they're larger than life in your mind because of, because of what it is that they can do. But other people might not realize that. It's like they're really incredibly valuable or what it is that they're doing or what they've accomplished or what they've unlocked within themselves is incredibly valuable. And it may really kind of tie into your calling or your desired purpose or, you know, what really kind of resonates in your core enough that it's completely outside of your character that you would make this trek that you would even attempt to approach this one in this way 
because there's this real sense of having to overcome or to build up confidence or to talk yourself into this. But the fact that it's surrounded by all of this calling energy and this, this longing heart or deep, deep desire or deep unfulfilled need related to your calling and purpose, that is going to motivate you beyond any sort of second guessing or fear or hesitation that you might have. Okay, and then the Seven of Water coming up next with the King of Fire and the Intuitive Heart. These cards were telling me the story about that this one, maybe specifically recently because whatever's going on with them, because they're in the spotlight or because people are starting to realize the, realize the significance of what they're capable of. Although, like I said, for you, it's much more complex than that. It's not just about like the service that they're offering or the performance that they're giving. It's like all of this, this kind of underneath, uh, more subtle spiritual or mysterious energy that you're able to, it's like an intuitive, an intuitive hit for you. When you look at them and what they're doing, there's an intuitive hit for you that seems to pull on these energies, right? It pulls on these energies and maybe you don't completely understand that. It's like for some reason you're looking at this one who could be an absolute stranger. But there's something about them that, that pulls on all of this, right? And it's like maybe that's the reason why you are desiring to connect with them is to get clarity about that. I mean, not necessarily that they have the answer, but that there's a belief perhaps that if you could just connect with them and have a conversation, it would become known to you. Especially with that moon underneath them, the fact that the moon is behind them in this fishbowl energy and then the strength card too, right? This is exactly what I was talking about. It's like it's taking you a lot of strength or courage to approach this one because you're unsure, because you're not quite sure exactly yet. It's like you have this calling, you have this, it's like it's pulling on your spirit. It's pulling on your core and perhaps you don't completely understand why. That's part of the reason that you feel the desire to connect with them is to get clarity on that, right? Okay, so with the Seven of Water and the King of Fire and this card here, which is Intuitive Heart, which is kind of explaining what I was saying here about, I was like, this is all really intuition based for you, especially with that looking for signs. It says step into your destiny in the fine print. <clears throat> okay, so this card, like I said the other day, was talking about kind of having to really stretch in order to be on the same level as somebody. But what I'm seeing here is that this the seven of water here is your is the star, is this is this focus of yours, right? This is their energy. They have a really bright, they're really bright. It's almost as if their light has just come on, as if they've they've just gone through some sort of an activation, which is really kind of catapulting their career or catapulting them in some way right? So they're shining really brightly um, to the point where it's actually, it's a distraction for you in a sense, but not really because it feels like it's pulling you in a significant direction, right? But it's basically like ever since you saw them connected with their light, it's hard for you to get anything else done because that's what the Seven of Cups talks about is is that the work isn't getting done because there's this 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 shiny object is too compelling but so they're the seven of water which you know the seven of cups talks about it talks about options right so it's like there's this person is getting a lot of attention they have a lot of admirers specifically because they've been recently activated and they're very attractive their light is shining brightly their light or their activation actually seems like it could be activating and lighting up other people because that's what this king of fire talks about as well right it's like he is or they are completely lit up by witnessing this one but so are you, right? And you see how you're kind of like having to peek over the head of this one. So it's almost as if you're kind of in the back of the crowd and wanting to get closer, but there's a lot of other people ahead of you. That's what this is talking about. So it's saying that there may be a lot of competition in this regard for this one at this specific time or at the moment of this happening. Because maybe this is actually something that's happening like spontaneously out in the world somewhere, something has happened where this one, 
is doing something that is drawing attention, drawing a crowd in the moment, and you're kind of in the back of that crowd, right? And trying to get a better look because it's pulling on all of this energetic stuff for you. Okay, but with the Knight of Fire coming up next, it's saying to me that you have, just as, okay, just as they have um, something about them that speaks to you on a level or a depth or a uniqueness that is specific to you that others wouldn't get, that others wouldn't perceive, right? Similarly, you have something to say to them and you might not know what it is until you're actually uttering it, until it's actually coming out of your mouth. Okay, this is fascinating. It actually is saying something like, you might not realize it because they're not, okay, because they're not doing what they're doing intentionally to communicate with you. They're just doing their thing. And in it is kind of like symbolisms or codes in a sense that mean something to you. It's pinging you in a specific way that is unique, right? That nobody else would get. It's like you have your own secret language, even though you've never met. Okay. So in a similar way, you might not realize that what it is that you bring to them is equally charged, that you might not even be very selective of your words, although I feel like you will be. You may not be very selective of your words. I know that you're hyper-conscious and aware, and this is significant, so likely you are choosing your words very carefully, but in the same way that they're not displaying or signaling you, there's something about what you say or ex express to them that is going to mean something to them. They're the magician and you're this knight of fire bringing the bringing um, message to them and you can see this snake wrapped around the two of you. It's almost like you're snakes. It's almost like, it's almost, it's, it, this is strange to say, but it's almost as if your Kundalini energies are, are magnetized towards each other, whatever that means. You know what I mean? Because it's like this, the Kundalini rising and it's like it's being pulled together. But this flower is kind of in between, right? It's like that flower is, it's like it's being drawn to, I want to say that the flower is almost kind of what it is that they're offering. It's like that's the focal point. When you connect with them, it's like talk about what it is that they've done or what it is that is, is, is that true? No, that's, that's on the surface. Okay. So if anybody, if anybody witnesses this connection or this conversation, they're going to think that it's about the creation or the project or whatever it is that is the focal point for the crowd or for this spotlight, but actually what's really going on with the two of you, maybe unspoken or maybe unaware to anybody else in the vicinity is this, is this kind of magnetic connection between the two of you that has to do with this, these Kundalini energies. And it's interesting how I was saying that it's like they've recently been activated. So maybe that's what's going on with them is that they've had a recent kind of Kundalini activation. And so because of that, they are lit up in a way that others haven't seen with them before. And it's interesting because it feels to me like you've not, maybe not even ever been aware. Like it's like they're a complete stranger is kind of what it feels like, right? So you wouldn't know necessarily that they've recently been activated. They're just lit up when you witness them. They're just like packed full of message. The fact that they've got these wings, I'm like seeing them as a bird. There's the this shape coming off the side of their head that's looking like a beak to me. It's like they are everything about them, everything about them, everything they do, everything they say, the way they present themselves, the situation in which you stumble upon them, everything about it is, seems to be packed full of message for you. It's like they're a walking, talking messenger energy for you. That makes sense. And I feel like, similarly you're exactly the same for them and you don't even have to do it intentionally you don't even have to think about it. it's just this natural occurrence right and then with the fool card coming at the end of the reading it's uh, it's it's communicating to me something about the fact that this is a fresh new experience for them it's like you're standing out to them amongst all the others because there's something different about you and it's this kind of shared language or this shared activation or whatever this is this kind of 
being a messenger for each other. You're a messenger for each other. And so therefore that is unique and it stands out, right? So it's like, it's interesting because you got the call card right above this fool card, right? And so if you put them together, it's doing that same thing as the snakes coming together, right? It's like your instruments, your, your voices, your messages are meeting in the middle. It's like, it's a, it's, it basically like they're meeting you They They are, it is a, if you feel like if you feel like you kind of have to stretch or rise up to meet them, it's like you could see it as maybe that that they're accepting it, that they're that they're acknowledging it, that they're open, that they're willing, that they're meeting you where you are. They're they're welcoming your message or they're welcoming your presence in their lives. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. If not, I will see you next time, Virgo. Thanks. Bye.